Next, we will machine the grooves on the inner diameter of the part. Click on Expand Gallery in the General group. Select Groove. For groove definition, select multiple chains and press OK. Zoom in on this area. For the first entry point, select this entity here, then select this entity. Next, select this line here, and then this entity. Select this line here, and then this line. Finally, select this line, and then this line, and press OK. Right click on the ID Groove Minimum 0.7 Diameter tool from the tool list, and click Edit Tool. Select the Setup Tool button. Ensure mounting position is vertical, and turret is set to right. Change the home position to D7, Z8, and press OK. Then, select the Holders tab. Change the shank cross section to 0.219. And under the holder geometry, change B to 8, A to 0.75, C to 0.15, and D to 1.4. Then press OK. Enter the comment, machine the inner diameter grooves. Under groove shape parameters, Enable Use Stock for Outer Boundary. Select Groove Rough Parameters. Ensure Rough is enabled. Cut Direction is Bidirectional Alternating. And change Groove Walls to Smooth. Select Groove Finish Parameters. Ensure Finish is enabled. Complete all passes on each groove and change overlap between passes to 0 0.03. Then click on Lead In. Change the first pass lead in entry vector to minus 90 degrees. For second pass lead in, change the entry vector angle to minus 90 degrees as well. Then press OK and press OK again. Then verify the operations. Select all operations and click verify. Minimize the simulation window, change the view to top, and fit to screen. 